What's up, amigos? Gonna do the uh, what looks like now a weekly Wednesday uh, show and tell time, I guess, for my TTMs. Really don't have any other time to make videos uh, except for my lunch hour here on Wednesdays because I work from home. So while I'm on lunch, figure I'd throw a video together for you guys, and um, pretty much pretty easy to do it every Wednesday. I almost had a video this past Sunday, but some stuff came up, so I had to cut it short and uh, didn't get it all done. So just going to redo what I did and uh, just show you what I got throughout the week. Um, so yeah, I got some stuff here. It's pretty cool. Um, before, I, before I get too far, got to do a big happy birthday. Shout out to JMO. So all you guys that didn't know it was his birthday, JMO, happy birthday. Um, forget what day it was. I think it was the 27th or something. So, uh, way to go. Congrats on being alive, brother. <laughs> um, and then also, you guys got to check out um, Brothers Keeper of MMA, his contest for um, a, just a fat stack of cards. You got to guess the amount of cards he shows in the video. It's not HD video, so you can't um, pause it and count them. But uh, pretty cool contest, so um, I'll link him below uh, with his <clears throat> with his YouTube account or whatever. So you guys can go out there, subscribe to him, and get in that contest. The guy's always got great videos. Just uh, love his comments, the straightforward stuff, and uh, it's good. He's a good dude to follow. So uh, check out his videos and sub him and enter that contest for that fat stack of uh, UFC cards. Um, so yeah, I'll get to my stuff. Uh, probably won't be in order, but I'll try to move along as well, good as I can. Um, got a good success via venue. <coughs> Sorry, I'm clearing my throat. From uh, Jacare Souza. I already had him in my collection. I already had this one from trade, but um, my pal Chris wanted me to buddy up with him with his TTM via venue, so uh, Chris hooked me up with three Moment of Truth cards, so I TTM that out to the venue for the Strike Force event. Sent them pretty early. Uh, I think I sent them on Friday afternoon so that it would have a full week to get routed around wherever the via venues go and ended up coming back. So uh, I got three of three signed. One of them, that they're all signed in uh, copper. This one's still for trade. And uh, this one that I had in my collage is for trade. So if you guys um, want a Sousa on card auto, um, this one, the blue one was obtained in person. I got that in a trade. And then this one, of course, was the Vibe Venue TTM. So uh, both these are for trade. So if you guys want them, hit me up for that. Then there was a uh, TTM I was really stoked about getting back. It was coming back from uh, you guys can't read my writing, but it was coming back from um, first round management. Well, that's where I sent it originally, and I had uh, I had three cards attached to. This is kind of how I do some of my stuff. Um, I had it attached to like what I call like a piece of cardboard or a mailer here, and um, I had card here, card here, and there was a card here. I think there's these a uh, scotch tape. Um, corners for photos. Well, I had a note here that says uh, this is for a set. Um, I'm trying to get all 180 cards signed. Uh, Diego was one of 34 I have left. Well, I saw this. I got this back in the mail. Uh, first Round Management forwarded to New Mexico because First Round Management does not cover Diego anymore or rep him anymore. And um, so I was shocked to see it come back and I was stoked thinking man I'm gonna get my set card for Diego finally and there was only one card left attached to the cardboard and it was right here and then the one below these scotch corners like they break off or something or they don't break or the plastic gives way the sticker it stays stuck to the uh, the sticker stays on the mailer but uh, they rip or something in the mail this has happened once or twice well yeah that's right my set card was nowhere to be seen. So I got two of two, two of three signed by Diego. They're super, super nice cards, super great autos, but I really needed that set card. But the good news is I sent um, a, t a, new, a different TTM um, 
while this one was still pending because I didn't think uh, first round management was going to actually forward it like like he said he was going to, but he did. So here's the two cards I got done. Two really awesome cards. Um, the top's finest from last year. Signed in blue, personalized, but you can see his face is all smashed in. I can't really see it that well, but uh, that one versus Campman. And this one's pretty dope too. This is the uh, 2012 Finest. Just got that grr face. So it's pretty cool looking. So two really nice autos from Diego, but like I said, kind of a bummer not to get that set card out of the way. Like I think I'm down to 31 now, not 34. So yeah, that was kind of the bummer with uh, Diego. But two nice cards for sure. Then um, yesterday was Tuesday. I actually got a TTM return at um, TTM return. This was a second one that I had um, sent a long time ago to um, Mark Munoz, and I was asking for specifically for a UFC signed promo and maybe one or two for specific buddies of mine that I was going to hook up and trade or just hook them up with. And um, I think. Mr. Munoz went above and beyond what I asked and thought it would be cool to send two promos for each of us, but did not do one each of the UFC promos. Instead, came back with this one that was for Cody, a rain, rain promo. This one's like four by six, and then the Zion's promo, which is like a five by eight. So he ended up sending six signatures, and uh, I had wanted um, I just wanted a couple promos that's all I was asking for and uh, these two are gonna be for David Pop he's MIA I don't know what's up with that guy maybe he had his back surgery or whatever and then these were these two were for, were for me and then Cody I think that guy's Browns or Living Nightmare I was gonna hook him up but yeah came back with um, these different promos so this was the second time I've asked for promos and I actually printed a um, actually printed uh, a copy of his UFC promo and wrote my letter of request right on the side where it was white and asked for one of those specifically but like I said I think he's trying to be really nice and sign two things and send them back for each person and didn't do the UFC promos and I've heard him on Twitter I've seen him tweet, tweet that when somebody asked if he had UFC promos he said that um, he had them or didn't have them but he had better photos so I, I think that implied he didn't like the ones, I don't think he likes his UFC promos, but just sucks. I really wanted that UFC promo for myself because Munoz is a beast and a, and a, and a cool, cool guy of faith. So um, then I got hooked up, moving on to another one, another Mark, Mark Bocek. I emailed his manager asking for the, the address I used before to mail him. Cody, I'm trying to trade this one to you, buddy, or hook you up with that. So that one's for you. And I also, they also sent the blank one. And uh, and TJ, um, I put yours away somewhere. I don't have my bag here. I probably should have grabbed yours out so I could show you what I got. Actually, I'll do that now. TJ, these these two are yours, bro. I'll send them your way. Here's the uh, Matt Wyman, nicely signed there. And then here's your uh, 2TJ, all the best, Mark Bocek. So those are your two promos there, dude. So hopefully they can hook you up with that. And also remember, uh, you wanted this uh, mini poster I got from the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's in the, in, in the envelope too. So I'll get those off to you soon. And hook you up with some cards, bro. So that's that. So that was Bocek. And then um, I ended up getting, she, the manager had these sent to me. And uh, the Bocek address will be in the MMA graphing database. Um, it was on the mailer that these were sent in. So I didn't ask for these. They, the management just wanted to send them. And uh, ended up getting the address that way. Didn't ask for them. Because I've already gotten both checked before on promos that I hooked other people up with. I think it was Ryan and uh, Skis I hooked them up with. So 
but this was this was a really 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 cool return to uh, this was the the card TTM I sent to Munoz only a couple weeks ago like I said the promos request was out for a couple months this one was a couple weeks ago and I had posted on it asking him not to sign it over the blood I mean this card is just awesome but what's funny is it looks like he's fighting an alien if you check out this dude he's fighting Lieben he's got his hand on his head his big pink or orange head and then he's all tattooed it looks like he's fighting an alien and check out there's blood right there in his leg that's awesome so really really cool image really cool tops finest 2012 card and uh, Mark was nice to sign it above Liebman across his chest there or above the alien but yeah it's hilarious cool looking card nice signature stoked to have that in my, in my collection <clears throat> just a few more to go here yeah, I think that's all I got for today for this week got uh, two of two signed <clears throat> from uh, Mayday Miller sorry about that got the uh, knockout and the moment of truth I see sign so this is kind of what I do when I send a TTM um, that's got a thick card like that knockout is I'll attach it to this little piece of uh, butchered up priority mailer I'll just cut those up and then attach them now that I'm out of my photo corners I actually just loop a piece of scotch tape behind it and stick it to the mailer and that way they come back in the business size envelope the number 10, number 10 envelope they come back like this so they, they don't come back creased so uh, two nicely signed cards for my uh, McDonald made a McDonald collection really like that guy uh, another good Christian dude so he had sent me a letter because I had asked him on there I said uh, Mike hey where'd that Mayday Mayday nickname come from got a nice little letter here from him it says I'm sorry for the long delay on the response I'm in the middle of staying starting my own uh, carpentry business and he goes on to talk about his website MaydayMcDonald.com so yeah busy out on my mind uh, my nickname Mayday actually came from my older brother. After my second amateur fight, my brothers and I went home to watch our our fights. Every time my opponent hit the ground in the replays, my brothers, my brother Justin, would say Mayday, Mayday, I'm going down, and then it, then it, uh, and then just started calling me Mayday. After a while, I hated the name and I said I don't like it. But eventually, the people in our gym started calling me it as well. So it just folded. So I just folded the peer pressure and accepted the, nick the nickname. I hope you enjoy the autographed cards and thank you for the support of my career. You are the reason I have a job. Good perspective. Um, stay well hydrated in that Wisconsin heat. Sincerely, Michael Mady McDonald. This one's a really nice signature at the bottom. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that dude. He's a good kid. Uh, let's see here. What's this one? Uh, I think I'll show you this one. This one's pretty pretty cool. I'll save the, the newest edition for last. Um, this was two of uh, two of one signed by uh, Tim Kennedy. I haven't ever gotten him TTM myself. I did get a Tim Kennedy Moment of Truth signed through a trade, but never got him TTM myself. So I got that. Signed in black, and then I asked if he had any extra cards to add one, and he did. So he had his own um moment of truth so that's pretty cool i'll have a an extra moment of truth for trade the one that i have in my collage now i'll take that out and put the one i got myself in there so uh that was cool of tim to add an extra card and to have read my small post it that asked for an extra if he had it i don't know why i did that I just did and then uh, this one is an, uh, a guy i haven't had in my collection before i don't know how to pronounce his last name because i didn't watch his fight um, versus um, Pablo Garza, the Scarecrow. He had one fight and he got knocked out pretty pretty brutally and uh, he was unconscious for a while. That's Fred Pacho. Fredson. Fredson. He signed it in red. Was a good correspondent on Twitter and uh, confirmed to send to his gym in Henderson, Nevada. And uh, was a cool guy. Tweeted me that uh, it was on its way. So that's, that's a good addition. It's a guy I haven't had yet. It's a title shot card. 
We've got a few of those title shot guys to get yet, but uh, that's it. Uh, that's my uh, that's my show and tell for this week. Again, uh, check out uh, Brothers Keeper MMA for his um, his contest. And then uh, hope you guys had good mail days. And I'm not counting on much today, but uh, the mail days will probably come around on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday. So uh, see you guys later.